everybody. Welcome into A Real and a Beer. It is episode reaction time. Finally got it. Cobra Kai Season 3, Episode 1. Great episode. Mr. Joshua Abercrombie, I'm going to let you lead off. This is phenomenal. Okay. So, today is January 1st. We had a rough 2020, but when I woke up, and I'm an Alabama fan, Alabama plays uh, Notre Dame here in about an hour and 15 minutes. But i tell you this, when I... When my eyes opened this morning, I didn't think, hey, it's 2021, Alabama plays tonight. I thought, hey, it's Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai, dude. Seriously. Uh, I was so excited. Um, Johnny Lawrence. I was, yeah, I was supposed to watch. Why is he backwards? <laughs> oh, he's showing that emblem. Oh, okay. Um, I was only supposed to watch one episode, uh, but by the time my wife woke up, I was already halfway through episode two. <laughs> you got to um, it's going to take all I can not to binge it. But I like to watch each, each episode twice. So uh, I'm one of those. I like to see every detail. You know, um, I thought it was a great episode. Um, really, it has the same feel that it had when it was done by YouTube. Uh, I thought... Netflix did a great job of, of keeping it cohesive and keeping the same look, the same feel. It's got a, as always, it's got a great mix of both comedy and drama. I mean, it's, you never know. Uh, but I, I thought it was a great start to episode, uh, season three. I think I think the key the key that I liked about it the most um, is they kind of went back to their grassroots of letting Johnny be Johnny. In competition. <laughs> A man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Diaz? No problem, Sensei. You, you punch me. I have asthma, so... Not anymore. We do not allow weakness in this dojo. You know, kind of towards the end of it, he started softening up and getting away from the Johnny Lawrence that, that captured you and drew you into the show. Now they went back, and I, hey, people may not agree with this, but they went back for him being a drunk piece of shit, which is... That's where the best comedy comes in. I mean, make no mistake about it. Yeah, when he when he gets in that fight in the garage. Oh yeah, he's just too messed up to walk. And, uh, I mean, he did a great job of pulling the guy through the window. Oh but yeah, oh yeah. After oh, yeah. that, it was it was over. Yeah, but he, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's what drew people into this show. Um, you know, in the very first episode, season one, episode one. You know, you got the poison blaring and the and the Dagda My Rock Z twenty eight and the banquet of beers and and you're just like you're you're hooked. I mean, it's like two minutes in and you're hooked. Well, they went back to that and that's good because he's a drunk, broken down piece of shit. But then, as the episode went on and you started getting the details of the fallout, so now karate's uh, criminal number one, karate itself in the valley, and then you got chaos at the school. You got parents like like a PTA meeting going ballistic. LaRusso's business is is is, is, is a ghost hit. town over all this. You got Miguel who is in a coma. Uh, you know, and he's you know one of the questions we had from the trailer that we did uh, we seen was we had questions about is that Miguel fighting with Cobra Kai? Uh, come to find out, it's him inside of his mind, basically fighting for his life. Yeah, and it's kind of a you know, he was struggling uh, there for a little bit, too. Symbolic, and when Johnny came there and spoke to him, he started making a comeback. Yeah. So I, I like that. I do like. I I love the fact that they finally addressed in Cobra Kai the show. They addressed <laughs> the fact that Daniel was the bully. Yeah. Uh, he was bullshit. You. <laughs> we both uh, subscribe to that theory that. Daniel was the bully and Johnny was the actual karate kid, much like uh, a lot of people nowadays. Yeah, I mean, they set out to show, because, uh, you know. He actually won on an illegal kick. It was an illegal kick. So. Yeah. Um, so the one thing I didn't like from this episode was Aisha is gone. Uh, now, is she gone for good? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Uh, I'm sure that there is an answer Didn't they put out her there. In a private school, they say. Put her in a private school. Put their house up for sale. And I'm sure the answer is out there on the internet somewhere because you're going to have people that do these deep dives to find out 
that actor, the, that actress, uh, was she on scene? I'm sure there's on set photos that leaked out. I'm not that guy. I sit down and I watch the show. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know, but I liked Aisha as a character. Uh, so, but would she come back as Cobra Kai or Miyagi Do? I don't know. And then, you know, uh, Johnny's not that worried about his son. Uh, I mean, he brought him up, didn't didn't dive into it. He's, you can tell he's more focused on Miguel right now because Miguel's fighting for his life. But I don't know. It's interesting to see. Um, and as it goes on, there is spoilers in this, obviously. It's a, it's a review. <laughs> so it's interesting to see, uh, you know, as as it drawn on, you see Daniel go to Cobra Kai, the dojo. And um, that didn't go as planned. What do you think? No, yeah, and that's the thing. Well, know, that kind of went as we thought it would, but it didn't go in his mind what he wanted. He was looking for Johnny. Yeah, I, I tell you what, it, it, I am a Johnny Lawrence guy. But when oh, he, yeah. when Cree started Sully and, and, and Dirty in the name of Mr. Miyagi, it, it kind of fired me up, you know. Yeah. But here's the thing is, Cree knows that him and Johnny are on the outs. Oh, yeah. But he's not going to let Daniel know that. No, because he wants him to think. He's playing mind games with Daniel. He's wanting him to think it's a united front. They're going to finish off. You know, but but I think Daniel knows there's cracks in the foundation. Obviously, he, he does because he wouldn't have went to his apartment there at the very end of the episode and talked to him. Because if he thought there was a united front there, he wouldn't even approach him about, you know, yeah. taking him down, uh, crease down and... You you know what's coming. I mean, I I hadn't watched the episode, but at some point there's going to be the a trailer. Yeah, there's going to be a boiling point. And they're going to lock horns again, and the biggest question is, and it kind of looks like, you know, da- Daniel and uh, Johnny team up, but we don't know. But I, I kind of tend to think that they are at some point. But that would be interesting because if you could get the no nonsense mental toughness and the uh, and the brashness of Johnny Lawrence, and then you can get the calm, cool, and collected part of Miyagi Do with the perfect mix. Yeah, oh yeah, that gum. I mean, that'd be a, a that gum dynamite thing. But again, I think there would be a balancing act. Uh, they're too aggressive. They're not, and then Johnny would just straight up call them pussies, and other uh, been too big of pussies. And you know, it's that'd be a balance act. But if you could find that perfect hybrid, like a brash, confident, well-rounded. Calm, cool, and collective. What's what we yeah. what we call Chuck Norris? <laughs> he has Chuck, Chuck Norris, Norris has personified both Miyagi Do and Cobra Kai. Chuck and that's Norris. that's which that's what happens when when you find the perfect medium between those two. I was thinking more along the lines of uh, Raphael from the Ninja Turtles, but Are you Raphael? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, he, he's, he's enough brashness. He's he's a he, He's not weak and, oh, let's just be everybody's buddy like Leonardo. He's And he's not goofy like Michelangelo. I always like Donatello. He's a nerd, though. Well, Too I'm, nerdy. I'm the editor, so. <laughs> that is a good point. Uh, now, I guess I can relate to him. I wonder which side they'd be on. You'd probably have to. Raphael and Ma- Michelangelo would probably be Cobra Kai. Probably. Donatello, yeah. Leonardo. Yeah. Uh, That'd be a good battle. I would. You're probably right on that. That would be... I would have thought of it as a poll question. Yeah. On the channel. Johnny... If you hadn't already, check us out on Facebook. We just kind of watched that thing, got it up and going again. Yeah, we've, we've taken some time we'll off. Take some time off. Uh, we got another channel that's monetized that we spend a lot of time on during football season, but we're back in the saddle now. Um, let's do that. Let's do a poll question on that. And if you guys are watching this in the comments... Comment below. Yeah. Uh, here, here's the official poll. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Lawrence, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Shredder versus Donatello, Leonardo, <laughs> Daniel, and Splinter. <laughs> That'd be awesome, dude. Death match. Karate, all hands on deck. Oh, dude, that would be a freaking death match. Winner takes on Chuck. Uh, oh, he's weak. I think we could throw in this. You want to throw in two more X Factors? You ready? Mm hmm. Storm Shadow okay. goes to uh, uh, Cobra, Cobra Kai, Kai and then uh, Snake Eyes to uh, Miyagi now. Uh, yeah. That'd be, a, that'd be a freaking battle royal right there. I like that. 
Let's do it. But hey, guys, we're going to be doing more of these. We're not going to talk your heads off. We're going to try to keep these around the 10 to 12 minute range each. Uh, so you can be engaged and we want your feedback if you can. If we miss something, say that below. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share. We're looking for some interaction on these because this show is blowing up. This is a real and a bear, Bo and Josh, and we're out.